All right, 361 Corpus Christi, Texas here. So right here, as you can see, we have a Yesu FT897. And we got this radio for payment as labor. Tomorrow I'm gonna be doing um, work on a dipole for a buddy and also putting up a new tower and everything for him. It's a push-up tower, a 40-foot push-up tower. I'm gonna get the old push-up tower and he also gave me this radio here for free. Well, technically not for free. I have to do the labor. But the reason he let it go is he said it has uh, transmitting issues that it just doesn't transmit at all. And he said it has the known Yesu loose knob uh, problem here. The, the v, uh, VFO does still work, but as you can listen, it's definitely scraping. I don't like that whatsoever. And you see here, this is really loose. I don't like that. From what I can tell on the internet, everybody replaces these because they say there's no way to tighten it or anything like that. I don't want to replace parts unless I absolutely have to. So what I did is I took everything apart, just like Legos. If you see something in your way, take it apart, but always be organized. I got screws here organized. I have these screws organized and those screws organized. You always want to stay organized. So step one is you're going to want to take out your these three screws here and these four right here along the side and the one right here. Now, the other back piece, which is actually the bottom piece, you take out these three right here or actually these two right there. And then the ones that I thought were under the feet, which it's not, is actually these three. One there, one there, and one there. And this back piece is actually kind of hard to take off to be no joke, but don't worry, there's nothing plugged into it whatsoever, so that works. So, <clears throat> what you're gonna do is you're gonna take off your top piece. Now, the thing you have to be mindful is this, this connector right here, is actually your battery switch connector here. And then this little guy here is for your speaker. So I'm gonna show you where these two go. Just remember the big guy and the little guy. So this is your big guy right here. This connector is for this connector right here. And then this little guy right there, that is for your speaker. You have to unplug those to get the top cover off. Now, after you get the top cover off, you can put it on the side of the radio because it does have these four feet here, and you're going to have to take off two screws on the bottom to take off the bottom panel. Because if you don't take the bottom panel off, I'll show you the bottom of the radio. This is an optional battery bay. You can get two batteries in there. There's two screws. There's one there I already have out, and there's one down right there that I already have out. That way you can get the actual front panel off. So we've already taken bolts off to get the front panel off and the bolts off the inside of the motherboard, which are these screws right here. They are length, um, they are lengthened. So keep, keep in mind, I do have them spaced out just perfect. Now, what you can do is you're gonna take these off I did this so it was easier to actually film. And we're just gonna put that guy right there with the other ones. All right, so. You can do is very carefully you're gonna pull this guy out and you're gonna get that top pin the plastic piece to go over and you can slowly move it over now like I said I already got the the knobs off the front and everything so I can get the board out so what you're gonna do is you're gonna push this board out I'm gonna do this because I can't do it with one-handed so I'm gonna go ahead and pause right here all right, so now I got the panel, the front panel off. I got the board balanced off. The piece we need is this guy right here. If I lift up a little bit, see how it's loose? 
is very hard to do one handed. But there you go. See how it's loose like that? That's not good. So I actually, to get that, to secure those guys, they're actually held on by thread. So what we're gonna do is we're just gonna twist this guy just a little bit. Just enough till we feel some tight tension. Just lightly, just lightly. And then now, let's see here. See, there's not a lot of movement now. Just a little. So, we're just gonna tighten, tighten it just a little more. Let's see. I got very little movement now. So now we're gonna slide this guy back on. Try to do this one handed for y'all. All right, doesn't look like I'm gonna be able to, so I'll be right back. All right, so we got the motherboard back in its tray. Pretty much all the way down. And you gotta make sure this piece right back here goes up under these two connectors here. So you don't wanna squish them. And then the next thing you need to do is get some little pliers and you're gonna fish this connector out be gentle with it and what we're gonna do is we are going to put it right in that connector right here so your knob here plugs into that connector right there and then you got a screw here here and then you got one right here here, here, there's one hiding right back there, there's two of them hiding right there, and right there. All right, and then we'll get those back on and plugged in, and I'll show you after the screws go in. All right, so we got all the screws back in. We got a screw here, right there, got here, there, there. Got the one right back there, and it's kind of hard to see, but we got the guy right there and right there. And this connector here, you cannot undo. These two connectors here, you cannot undo, but they're very fragile. You have to be very careful. This connector here, we can take off. We have it plugged back in. This is your VFO knob connector. We have that back in. And then this connector here and these wires, you can't undo, but be very careful because they are very fragile. And then you got the VFO knob right there. We got that guy nice and fixed. We don't have to buy a new part, which is always good. So now we're going to slide the faceplate back on, which is fairly easy. You just have to be very careful. You have to run one side in first, and then slide it in, and the other side will pop in. So I'm going to pop these screws back in and I'll show you that the knob is nice and fixed. Alright, so now we got the faceplate all secure. We got the two knobs back on. And as you can see, the knob is nice and secure. Last time we did that, it wobbled around. And now listen. Nice and smooth, no scratching. And nice and nice and tight knob. Perfect. Now we're just gonna get the top piece back on and the bottom piece and we're good to go. Alright, so we got it all set now. Got all the screws on, got all the knobs on. And as you can see, we got a nice tight knob no scraping nice tight knob very nice project all done 
like, comment, and subscribe.